What's going on there guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. First of all, how many powder heads do we have here? Well you better sit down because this video is all for you. The Harry Potter movies that shaped our childhood required a lot more than you would expect to present us the great wizarding world. If you don't know, we'll help you find it because today we'll answer which Harry Potter movie was the most expensive to film. Number 6. What was the budget for 8 Harry Potter movies altogether? If you're still in awe of the greatness of the Harry Potter franchise, then you should know that such greatness wasn't achieved without paying a huge sum. The magic we were able to witness in the movies was the result of a huge, huge budget. Let us tell you in chronological order. The budget for the first Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, released in 2001, was $123 million. For the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, released in 2002, it was $100 million. For Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, released in 2003, the budget was $130 million. The fourth one in the series, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, released in 2004, the budget was $150 million. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, 2005, was $150 million. Harry Potter and the Half-Blooded Prince 2006, $250 million, and the last movie was Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows, released in two parts in 2010 and 2011, had a combined budget of $250 million. Now you can just do the math and get an idea of how much was spent to create such a masterpiece series. Number 5. How much did the 8 movies make altogether? You must be shocked after knowing about the amount spent on creating the fantasy world of Harry Potter, but the amount of money these movies collected all together is even more shocking. The movies that were released over a period of 10 years gained a massive fandom that to this day is as obsessed with the franchise as it was when the movies were released back in the day. Due to its huge popularity, the series became one of the most successful ones in the history of Hollywood itself. The movies were so loved by everyone that all the films made an astounding amount of $7.73 billion around the world. Woe to the max! Number 4. Dividing the Last Volume Even though each movie is about 2.5 hours long, the book readers had an unfulfilled longing that kept them wanting more in the overall plot. Since it was impossible to depict each and every detail of the books in the movies, the directors had to do something about it. That's when they made the smart decision of splitting the last book into two movies. This decision not only helped them gather a huge box office collection, but also cheered and satisfied so many fans by giving them two amazing final movies of the series with a detailed plot. Number 3. Setting the Life of the Actors The movie franchise changed the life of everyone who was linked to it. The franchise got so astoundingly successful that the writer of the series, J.K. Rowling, amassed a net worth of $1 billion and rose from the digits of her previously distressful life to that of a prosperous one. She is in fact regarded as one of the wealthiest private citizens of England, beating the Queen in personal wealth. The movies also kick-started the careers of all the young actors, particularly Emma Watson, Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint, who got incredibly famous and rich that they would never have to toil for money in their lives if they chose not to work. Number 2. The Most Expensive Film in the Franchise Now that you know how much money was spent and how much money was made all together, let us tell you which movie was the one that emptied out the pockets of the Warner Brothers Studios and was the most expensive one to film. It was the most heartbreaking one, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The reason is that the film had heavily employed CGI, which you already know is very expensive, and the second reason, according to the sources, was that the contract for the main characters were up for negotiation. The movie was created with a budget of $250 million, however, the bummer is that many fans agreed that this wasn't the best one in the series. Number 1. The Most Expensive Scene the fact that Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince was created with a total budget equal to the budget of the last two movies combined is very surprising. Let us tell you another fact. The most expensive movie consists of the most expensive scene in the entire series. The powerful cave scene that appears at the climax of the movie was the one that required a lot of money and time as well. 
According to sources, Christopher Horvath, the graphic designer working on the film, spent eight nights working on making a good fire and the entire scene in the cave was done in CGI. The hard work really paid off because there isn't any scene as powerful as Dumbledore saving Harry by casting a great fire spell that too after almost dying due to that drink of despair. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope all the Potterheads enjoyed it. So, what do you think? Tell us about your favorite movie in the comments section below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos in the future. Until then, take care and goodbye.